my name is Naomi Walls and I'm a learning developer at TU Delft in the Netherlands. I'm originally American and I've been living in the Netherlands for about a year now. So for the past two years I've been involved with the Open Education for a Better World mentoring program that's based in Slovenia and it involves um, mentors with developers. Um, the first year we ran it, it was where two mentors were at the same time with one program and um, the second year then we did one mentor per um, project. So it's been really great and rewarding to be a part of that and actually see all of the um, projects that come in. There's so many. Last year we actually doubled the amount of projects and then this year we just closed the um, call for the developers and the call for the mentors will be closing on December 2nd for this coming year and it's exciting and already rewarding just to see what's coming in and hear other people talk about the benefits of the program. Each summer it's a week long of workshops and those workshops are specific to the projects that were accepted as part of the program. So all of the developers hopefully go um, and then most of the mentors go as well the actual workshops are them presenting their projects and then the other parts of the workshops are helping those who didn't finish to finish in different ways so there's things that they're taught like different tools that they could use um, and or other theories that they could um, benefit from and so that's been part of that program is making it a little bit more hands-on usually um, on the last day specifically where they have more time to actually learn and maybe finish up some things. Right now it's on Open Education for a Better World, um, so if you Google that um, then you will find it. Um, and you'll find last year's projects and the projects before, and you'll also see the call for this coming year. Um, so you'll see all of those projects, there's specific links to those projects. You can see who mentored who and who did the development and all of them. There's such a range of topics um, and it is open courses and it's open books or open textbooks. Uh, one of the most surprising ones that we had the first year was where um, they were making an open book, but we had thought that they were going to be distributing it digitally, but the purpose was that they could actually print it for less cost and print out pamphlets to go to huts um, and actually deliver them. So it's, it's not just always digital. Yes, it's beneficial, but it reduces costs so you could have something for the open books. So those are also projects that can be accepted.